hallelujah for us and ages to come. With the close of the thousand years of the Messianic kingdom, the great mediator will deliver over the kingdom to the Father. The Father will not receive the human family to eternal life without first giving them a test along the lines of strict obedience to his will. Satan will be loose for a little season to demonstrate who are absolutely loyal at heart and not merely obedient for the sake of policy. Those who then fail will be destroyed with Satan in the second death. Thus the earth will be absolutely cleansed. Then every creature in heaven and earth will exclaim, Blessing and honor and glory and power be unto him that sitteth upon the throne and unto the Lamb forever. Then there shall be no more sickness or dying. The former things of sin and death will have passed away. Nor will the glory of Christ and the church end with the restoration of mankind. Not only do the scriptures tell us that under Christ every knee shall bow, both of things in heaven and things on earth, but that in the ages to come, God will show the exceeding riches of his grace and his loving kindness toward us, the church, in Christ Jesus. As God made not the earth in vain, but to be inhabited, this same principle doubtless applies to the other planets of our solar system and to one thousand millions of other worlds of which astronomy tells us. They are all to be people, and the things learned in the sin experience of our earth are to be their instruction. It is the divine decree that the Logos shall be the honored agency through whom all creative work shall be accomplished in the future, as in the past. And his church, his bride, will be with him in all his glorious hereafter. Truly ours is a great God, worthy of worship, obedience, love. Only the foolish can say in their heart, there is no God. Who shall not reverence thee, O Lord, when thy righteous acts are manifest? Thank <laughs> you.